Hello, this is Stuart Sivray. This interview is being recorded deep within a secret location, not the Ecuadorian Embassy. If you're looking at this on, the, on YouTube or the Voice for Children blog, it's going to mean that I've been arrested again and put in prison by Jersey's corrupt, conflicted authorities. In Jersey, our local oligarchy, as we know and we've learned so well over recent years, they just don't like anyone criticising the government, criticising Jersey's public authorities. And in particular, they really, really don't like anybody criticising the excuse for what passes for a judiciary or a prosecution system in Jersey. There's no separation of powers here. There's a gross overlap between these different agencies. And over the decades, the habit of the Jersey authorities, who are the same little narrow grouping of people, have been to cover up all kinds of serious crimes. Corruption, child abuse, rape, attempted murder, murder. Now, when the internet age arrived, and uh, a few campaigners like me and others, and we started to expose these things, suddenly decades of appalling misfeasance was being exposed, and Jersey's oligarchy, being the collection of fools that they are, thought they could somehow still keep the lid down on all of this, even though it's the 21st century, and this is the age of the internet. Consequently, they've consistently abused me for the last three or four years by corruptly misapplying the data protection law. You don't have to take my word for the fact that the Jersey authorities are abusing it. They themselves have admitted that no other jurisdiction in the world interprets the data protection law like the Jersey authorities do. They're not applying the law fairly. You can see that the way they're using data protection actually stops investigative journalism and stops corruption and wrongdoing and cover-ups by the Jersey authorities from being exposed. There are provisions in the law that allow journalism, in theory, and that allow public interest disclosures, in theory, but the Jersey authorities choose just to ignore those. The real problem, of course, with this matter, not only with what they've done to me, but all of the other powerless victims in Jersey, is that we're not just looking at corruption by the local government. Really, we're looking at corruption by the judiciary in Jersey, which, let's face it, is, in reality, the local government. The Crown functions in the island, the judiciary, the prosecution system, the police force, are utterly politicised. The judges who have heard these cases against me, for example, have all been chosen and appointed by directly conflicted other judges, men like Philip Balash, Michael Burt, William Balash, all of who have got a lot of very, very serious questions to answer about their past conduct when attorney generals in Jersey and failing to deal properly with the many crimes that I have now been trying to expose in recent years. You don't need to know a lot about these kind of situations to understand that a judiciary does have to be impartial and objective. It has to be neutral and free of all contamination. The situation in Jersey is that all of these oppressions I suffer from, not one of them have actually been heard by an objective, impartial judge. Rather, I've been oppressed and put in prison by friends and appointees of the malfeasant public officials and judges in Jersey who I was trying to expose. Now, this isn't just a problem for me, it's a problem for the whole community of Jersey. If you're a powerless person, you expect to be properly protected by the rule of law. You don't expect your children to be abused. You don't expect to be the victim of rape. You don't expect to be the victim of attempted murders. You look to the public authorities in Jersey to protect you from those things. And if those authorities fail, then you look to other people to expose those failures. That's what happens in normal, respectable democracies. That kind of exposure of wrongdoing isn't permitted in Jersey, which is why I've been put in prison again by these corrupt authorities. Ultimately, the people really responsible for this breakdown in the rule of law, democracy and accountability in Jersey are the authorities in London. The buck stops there.